Hey guys, welcome to another video review here at the Nerd Element. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about my newest purchase. It's the Back to the Future Part 2 Magnetic Levitating Hoverboard presented by Kids Logic. So, as soon as you open this box, you can see all the boards side by side. And again, a reminder to everyone that may have forgotten that uh, the hoverboard was a scooter. And this, I guess, goes over there. <clears throat> so in the movie, we didn't really see the quality of each board. Well, this is the chance now for everyone to see each board up close. Um, I guess they're a 1-6 scale. Of course, there's Marty's hoverboard and uh, Bibs Pitbull and I remember I remember seeing this when it first came out in the movies and it reminds me of uh, Christian Hosoi's famous uh, skateboard back in the days alright so let's take a look at each of this skateboard deck that's pretty cool now each deck has the magnets on the bottom so you can actually use each of this hoverboard deck in the provided uh, pod where it will be levitating hey, look at that you can tell that there's magnets because they're already sticking to each other I'm gonna call this the Christian Hosoi deck there you go and like at the movies, I guess this is where you put your uh, back foot and you pedal with your front foot. And then here's the famous pit bull. There you go. And just for size comparison, I mean it fits right in my hand, maybe two and a half inches. So under the box, you will find instructions on exactly how to make these boards levitate. And um, if you don't want it levitating, you can just put it up on a stand like this. Let's see if I can do one right now. I believe it's like that. So you kind of have the board leaning if you want it. Um, you just want to put it on your desk or your toy stand or whatever, so it goes like that. Okay, let's do another one. Oh, it's pretty cool, it has that logo. Now you can just put them side by side like that. Oh, upside down. Like that. And... Oh, look at that. Look at how strong that magnet is. And it's stuck together. So it comes with a couple of stands if you want all the boards standing. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. But of course, um, the majority of you guys will probably want one of them to be levitating. So it comes with a screwdriver and a battery. I don't know what the battery is for yet. But the power bank is usually to make uh, the pod light up, which I will set up in a few. And this is the pod right here. Okay, so after reading the instructions, I found out that the um, the battery is actually for the pit bull. Um, this came with a uh, really really small Phillips screwdriver. So you open the battery or battery port right here. Just the screw. You open it up put the battery and the only thing that the battery does it, it actually lights up the exhaust of Pitbull and uh, the switch is really really small I don't even know if you guys can see it but it's right there you switch it on it'll light up you switch it off it'll turn off that's it um, red LED 
to give that turbo booster effect. Doesn't have any sound, but hey, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be such a hassle displaying this with the light on. It'll probably last you half a day. So most likely it'll be off. By the way, before I go on with this review, it's just a quick reminder and maybe a precaution to anyone that's planning on buying this or who already has this. This part of um, the pit bull, I mean, the quality is plastic, but still you guys gotta watch out because it seems like it's already potential hazard of easily chipping or it was already like this when I got it. I just noticed it right now. I mean, it's no big deal with me, but um, later on, there's a possibility that I might bump it and it looks really slim. It's small that it could easily break. So you guys make sure to watch out for that. So here's the hoverboard. Originally as a scooter, there's two ways to display this hoverboard. One is with the, the scooter handle. And again, just a precaution for everyone. Um, not as delicate as the pit bull, but this handle right here, you guys better be careful not to hit it with anything and break it. But um, yeah, so like I said, uh, you can either display it as a scooter or you could easily take the scooter handle out and display it like this, the more famous hoverboard skateboard. Um, uh, this washer right here uh, was inside one of the uh, hovering circular thing. So um, if you guys want to display it hovering as a scooter, um, I think you gotta take this off, which I did. Um, and then if you want it hovering without the handle, there's an instruction on how to put this in there. It's just a small push in that hole and it'll make it it'll, this thing will come off and then you just insert the metal and then it'll levitate as a hoverboard okay so I went on ahead and put the pit bull on top of the pod and for some reason it's rattling it's shaking like that and no matter how much I try to calm it down it's gonna slowly shake like it's vibrating Obviously, it has something to do with the magnet. You can spin it, but it's still gonna give out that rattling and vibrating motion. So let me try to put on the hoverboard. So here's the hoverboard. It's not shaking like what the pit bull was doing. It'll hover like that and from what I noticed, it'll slowly turn and then it'll just gather up speed. Again, that's because of, um, I guess that's one of the magnet properties. And it'll just start spinning faster and faster. I don't think it's gonna get to 88 miles per hour fast, but it'll spin like that. What's cool about this is uh, if hit by light or sun, the side of the board looks like it's reflective. And um, so the pod has that mirror reflective, uh, reflective uh, it's not metal, it's not plastic. Well, I think it's plastic, but it's just uh, to show everyone the bottom part of the board so that, you know, you can tell your friend that it is hovering, it is floating. So I guess it'll just keep spinning that fast. Again, even if I slow it down, let's try it again. I'll slow it down. It'll hover. It's not shaking like the pit bull, but it will start spinning faster and faster. Let's keep it like that. So it's kind of steady, but as you can see, it'll start spinning and then it'll get some speed or wait, let's see. Maybe it'll spin the other way. Again, it's the magnetic properties. And from what I noticed, um, you will never be able, well, from what I 
experience, you will never be able to make this board or any other board unless the pod is on. As soon as you turn it off, for some reason, I can't seem to make anything hover. But with the pod on, it takes me like two, three seconds. I even tried it with the uh, the Mark um, the Mark Four, the Iron Man suit, and it did the same thing. With the pod on, it'll float. With the pod off, it won't even float at all. Okay, let me give you guys. So it'll keep spinning that fast. No matter how much you slow it down, it will do that. So again, it's part of the magnetic properties of the pod or the board itself. Okay, so in summary, this is a pretty cool toy or something that you can put on your study desk or your office desk. I mean, if you're a big fan, you will enjoy this more than not the non-fans. I mean, it's a hoverboard. It's cool. It's the design, like I said, we, um, based on what we've seen in the movie, it looks like it's, you know, it's based on the, that design. The pit bull, I wish I could keep it floating, but it's rattling. Other than that, it looks really cool. Uh, again, watch out for that tip, that point. It could easily break the hoverboard. If I will put this on my desk, I will have the hoverboard hovering on the pod. Um, it's cool if you guys can find it. I don't know if it's sold out already, if it's still available. If you're a big fan, I insist, I suggest, I recommend buying this piece and uh, you won't regret it. It's something that you can show off to your friends, have friends over, or whenever you have a party, it's always something to talk about. It is pretty cool. And um, I don't know how limited it is, but um, again, go out there and uh, buy this thing. So that's it for our review right now. If you guys have any question, just message me, leave it in the comment. Uh, I will post up some important links like the uh, KidLogic uh, website, um, any other link that I can come up with. And I'll see you guys at the next review.